In this project, we'll be using some 2x12 material to cut out some letters. So let's set up our project at uh, one and a half inches thick, width 11, and length. Let's go a little bit longer, maybe 45 inches long. You can always reduce that down if we need to, but length isn't really that important on a Raven. All right. Now with the project open, I'm going to go ahead and create a keep out area. This just helps define the margins of the machine. So when I'm positioning my project, I can stay out of those areas. I'll position it on the end of the board and set it at three and a half inches. And then that allows us to just know where our standard rollers point will be at the end of the board. And then let's select the text tool and type out the name that you want to cut out. I'm wanting these to be chunky letters that can stand on their own and they're nice and big. So I'm choosing a serif font, one that has the little serifs on it. And I'm going to make it bold to make sure that it's nice and thick and chunky. Uh, here on route mode, I'm selecting outline, but it doesn't really matter because I'm going to convert this as soon as I've made it. So click outline, and then let's just size this to fit. If you have a specific size in mind, feel free to type that dimension in here. I'm just going to make this so that it fits the board. Okay, once we've got that position the way we like. We'll go to the vectoring tab here and click edit outlines. And now with these as converted outlines, we can use the cut path tool. And the default bit at one eighth cutting is going to be not long enough to go through this one and a half inch board. So let's select our bit options here and we'll go to the quarter inch deep cutting. That gives us over two inches of cutting depth. Click OK on that. And then make sure your cut is flipped to the outside of those letters. And because it's, this is kind of a sappy, wet, you know, construction grade material, I'm going to reduce my pass depth, to take smaller cuts, and click Accept. All right, we have a couple inside cuts that we need to flip. And then this is ready to compile and cut. On this project, because we've already set our margin here, I don't need any jig. I'll just click next and it will automatically go to the compile screen. And, uh, it'll take about an hour and a half to cut. For the purposes of this demo, I made a smaller project with just the R so I could film the process quickly uh, to demonstrate how the, the project setup worked. Material tends to have these rounded edges. It's kind of hard to get your belt on there. So I just took mine to the table saw, just cut off that rounded edge to get a nice square edge to uh, run your belt along. Apply the tape to the board and press down along the length to make sure it adheres well. A trick to getting the tape off, the backing off the tape, is to score it and then it gives you a nice clean edge to peel from. It makes it a lot easier to uh, remove the tape after applying it. Again, when putting the belt down, make sure you press all along the, the length of it. Pressing down firmly helps it adhere consistently. Then load the board in the machine and select your project. We're using the one quarter inch deep cutting bit for this project. So 
I'm gonna put that in at the bit plate, find the bit, and then run the project. Don't forget to turn on your dust collector. When the project's finished, carefully cut the tabs out and then finish however you like. For these letters, my daughter and nephew uh, finished them with some decoupage.